Hi guys, welcome to our Prague series. In today's episode, we will be sharing with you our Prague food experience. This video will show you some of the authentic Czech cuisine and street foods. Also, it will include where we ate and how we find the taste according to our liking. If you have any recommendations for more traditional Czech food and restaurants, please leave it at the comment section below. So here we go! These are the food that we tried in the beautiful city of Prague. We hope you will enjoy watching this video. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are here in front of uh, St. Nicholas Church and we found a restaurant that serves traditional Czech food and uh, surprisingly it's just near our hotel apartment as well. So we ordered food. I ordered beef with some gravy sauce and definitely ordered duck. I got myself duck with dumplings and cabbage. I will be enjoying this feast. We're gonna show you the name of it because we don't know how to pronounce it. Just like in Budapest, we pronounce the word and it's wrong. So better not pronounce it. Just this is the food that we have. And we're gonna taste it right now. I think this is bread. White bread with uh, cream. I'm not liking the cream. I'm gonna set it aside. And then there's some um, lemon. And then, what's this one? I think this is a mixture of sweet, might be jam. Yeah, it's some sort of jam. Oh, this is like Filipino food, sweet and uh, salty at the same time. And this is, um, it doesn't show, but this is like um, some sort of jam, berry jam. And this is an herbal cream. Uh, let's see, oh, the, the beef. It's quite tender. I'm gonna be tasting the beef. Mm. Sweet one? It's sweet. The beef is so tender and uh, there's some sweetness in it. I think this um, lemon, I have to, to squeeze it so that it will have this sweet and sour taste. But surprisingly, the sweetness of the, um, of the sauce and the beef matches everything together so it blends together it's okay the food is nice i just don't know how to pronounce uh, the, um, the the name of it but you know what we do before in the philippines we actually get the bread and dip the bread to the sauce and get the beef and then that's how we eat it so elijah now is trying to to look what kind of food he will be ordering oh he's checking the menu look at that Look at that time he's reading it. No, because there are pictures. Do okay. you like your food? Yeah, I like my food. But um, it's a bit sweet for my liking, but it is tasty. That's what I can say. Do you like to try mine now? Yeah. So, this is Florence food. This is duck, cabbage. Is it cabbage? Yeah. Bread. And what's this one? Dumpling. Is this a dumpling? Some sort of dumpling. Really? I will try first a dumpling because it intrigues me. I don't know. I cannot. Uh, I cannot uh, recognize the taste. But but the duck looks very tender and crunchy. The skin is so crunchy. Now I will be trying it. It's good. I'm not really a fan of cabbage, but I will try this. Yeah. It's kind of like sweet. It's like a sweet cabbage. But the duck is the winner for this. It's so meaty and soft. And I think I like the taste of it.
we stopped by here in the restaurant near our place to eat lunch and we ordered the pork knuckle. It's a pork knuckle. Um, what is this one called? The dumplings? I got dumplings, yeah. The dumplings with bread and then uh, grilled sausage over there. I'm gonna be trying first this uh, pork knuckle. Wow, it looks crunchy. Yeah, this is very crunchy nice. actually. But let's see how it tastes like. It's very crunchy. Okay, let me just taste it again. Dumplings and the, um, the pork knuckle is so tasty. It's meaty and crunchy as well. It reminds me, or actually, it's somehow similar to the crispy pata. Yeah, crispy pata of the Philippines. So uh, that's why this one is a win for me. I'm not liking the cabbage because I'm not a fan of cabbage, anyways. But the dumplings as well is um, kind of okay. And that's my pork knuckle. Now, can I try first your... Yeah, please go ahead. Open what's them. The, what's this? They have meat inside and bacon. What's this called? Dumplings. Dumplings? Potato dumplings Potato? with meat and okay. bacon. Potato dumplings with meat and bacon. Let's put more bacon. I think it's a ham. Is there a ham there? Yeah. I think that's ham, yeah? The dumplings is just the same dumplings like mine. Um, the bacon is very crunchy, it's like in tidbits, cut into tidbits, very crunchy, you, you will not even um, have the texture of it in your mouth, like the normal bacon, because it's so crunchy, and then the ham as well is okay. So the combination actually of this ham and the bacon together with the dumpling is, is actually good. This is a dumpling with um, bacon and ham actually is that like for breakfast for me? <laughs> yeah that's that for me it's just for me now i wanted to try this sausage actually i was looking for grilled sausage and i got it that by mistake let me see oh it is like a, is this pickled sausage it's soaked in um what is it it's soaked in sauce right Hmm? I don't know, it's a weird taste because it's this is pickled the uh, sauce. Pickled sauce. And the sauce is soaked in it. No. Not your thing? It's not my thing. My thing is what I ordered. And I like it. Let's just enjoy this piece. We are going on a short street food tour here in Prague and we will try the chimney cake and the sausages. We just got our first street food here is called the chimney cake or Gordos Kalash or whatever they call it here is a different name. I don't know how to pronounce it but I will just put here the name. The cake is like a normal cake. Um, it has an ice cream on it. It's like a vanilla ice cream, and then the chimney itself has chocolate inside. And it's melting already. Look at your mouth. It's full of ice cream. You like the Portuguese collage? Yes. Ice cream. What? He said he likes the chimney cake. You and your baby. Eat. I think the chimney cake. Let me try it. It has chocolate inside. Mm. It tastes like the regular Kotos Kalash, which originates in Transylvania. And uh, this uh, chimney cake is actually fresh, so it's more tastier. So it's really good to have this while you're roaming around the streets of Prague. Now it's time to eat the Czech sausage. And this we in a, you know, what's this, a baguette? Yeah. A baguette. And the sausage there with ketchup, I think, and mustard. 
So let me just try it, have a bite of it. And I think there's a cabbage inside as well. There's a similarity with the Hungarian sausage, huh? It's tasty. It's the right saltiness. It's tender inside. It has uh, the bread is baguette, so it's a little bit harder. I think there's cabbage and uh, onions inside as well. So overall, it's a good snack to eat on the go while in Prague. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to share it, give us a like, and comment below. And if you love watching our videos, kindly click that subscribe and bell icon below. Thanks, and see you on the next one.